This is the Zwilling Infinity Coffee Maker. And it's specifically designed really from the inside out to give you the smoothest cup of coffee out there. And I'm gonna show you both how it works and why it works so well. I've got eight cups here and there's a measure right on the side so you can see how much you're doing. The reason it's important how much is because everything is very smartly set up so it really brews very differently based on how many cups you're brewing. And what I'm gonna show you even before I work on the grinds is there's a great shower head right here and what that shower head does is it makes sure that the water showers evenly over the coffee grounds. And then, actually, the machine's very smart. You can set it to do a special little pause so it'll shower around the grounds Give them a moment to bloom, bringing out the best in the coffee that you're using, and then it'll come through. So once this is in here, you wanna line it up, and then you can really pop it right in. So we've got the shower, which is gonna come down onto here. It'll give it an extra moment if we choose the blooming, and then it'll come through. Number one, press the button, which illuminates everything around it, so when it's not working, it's nice and then you can choose the bloom function, and I have it set and it's already there, so yes is great. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is choose my cup selection. And in that case, I'm not doing 10, I'm actually doing eight. So just set it for eight, say yes, and this will start blinking a little cup, which lets me know it has started the brew cycle. We've started to brew. It's going through the whole time at just about 205 degrees. One last thing that's going on is you'll see there's actually a little funnel inside here, and the point of that funnel is to make sure that the coffee comes through and circulates, so you have a really good distribution, because the first water that passes through the grounds will have a different taste than the water that passes through the grounds at the end, so the extraction is different, but by mixing the whole thing together, you really get kind of from the first cup to the last cup, the, the best possible coffee. And so with the right temperature, the right brewing time, really good tasting water and an even showering, what you get is just an incredibly smooth, almost a touch sweet kind of cup of coffee. It's, it's like when you go out to a great restaurant and you, you know, at the end of the meal you have a cup of coffee and you think to yourself, how come my coffee at home doesn't taste that good? This, these are the things that really make for a great cup of coffee. So once you have these all going, you'll see that just the taste in the cup is really exceptional.